as I presented in the previous video, UML is very important because it can represent a system, it can represent a system with the graphics, it is standard so we can communicate our analysis or our design to everybody. Also, it is easy to export to the computer so we can convert our model from UML to a programming language very easily and we can execute them. As I said before, there is many diagrams in UML that enable us to show the same system from different point of view, use case diagram, class diagram, activity diagram, etc. What is interesting that all these diagrams use the same elements. For example, the rectangle, it is the class, the line, it is association, line with hollow triangle, it is generalization, dependency also, it is an arrow, a generalization, realization, it is attached line with a hollow uh, triangle, use case, as you see, and that what we can say interface, not we can add some comments, actor, it is an external uh, entity that cooperate, interact with our system. We have a uh, field diamond, it is composition, and hollow diamond, it is aggregation. What is class diagram? It is very easy, we'll talk about attributes, operations, relationships between classes that we can see in the class diagram. We should distinguish between two things, it is the class and the object. The class is the generalization. For example, we say a tree, a cat, a mountain, a human being, a city, etc. It is the class. When we say about a specific, a realization, we talk about an object. My cat, that tree, this tree, Lille, Washington, Charles, we talk about a specific entity. So it is an object. An object, a concrete entity with a well-defined identity that encapsulates a state and a behavior. So, when we talk about a person, we talk, when we talk about Charles, for example, we talk, we talk about a state. We can say that he is fat, he is angry. We can take about the time. We can talk about a real behavior, not only abstract behavior. The class is an abstraction that represents a set of objects that share the same attributes and behavior. When we talk about a tree, a tree in our minds, it is we, we get these attributes from all the trees that we saw during our life. We make an abstract entity from these real entities to create this class. We create an abstract object from the real objects that we saw during our life. A tree, it is an abstraction, but we can, we talk about a specific tree, it is a real entity. Regarding our project, we talked about the connected system in the house. We saw what type of elements we can represent in the system. We remember that we used this unit in a room, in a house, and this unit can capture the temperature, the humidity, the acoustic, and it communicates. There is a microcontroller who gets all this data and send it to a small computer, Raspberry Pi. What are the main attributes of a temperature sensor in our context? We talked about that before. How we will represent now? this sensor. In class diagram, we can use two forms of the class. It is one rectangle with only one word. Inside it is the name of the class. Usually, in the beginning of the analysis, we, we don't put a lot of details. When we need to understand the relationship between the classes, we don't put the details. But also, another representation is a rectangle with three fields. The, the fields, the first is the name, the second is the attributes, 
We choose here the accuracy and the range, and a method, an operation that a class can do. It is read. It, this class can read. This sensor can read the data. What is association? Association, it is a relationship between two class. One class can cooperate, can give something to another class, for example, can apply an operation on another class, for example. A thermometer in our system can measure the temperature of a room. The symbols of UML change a little bit before 2005 and after 2005 we have two versions UML1 and UML2 it is not very uh, important uh, to our course but this is the most uh, famous representation of the association so association this is this relation between these two classes we have another representation it is the inheritance it is very important to classify all the classes around us we can say that a consumption meter it is a sensor since we specify that a consumption meter is a sensor that means it inherits all the attributes of an, is the sensor so we know now that the consumption meter contains two attributes at least it is the range and the accuracy it is the same thing electrical meter in, it inherits the attributes of the consumption meter so it in, inherits also the attributes of a sensor and we can add each time a specific attributes for these sensors composition what it is the composition we knew the module and we knew th that this module contains many sensors inside so we, these sensors are acoustic sensor, temperature, humidity sensor, luminosity sensor, etc. How we represent that? It is easy. We represent it with a field diamond from the side of the container. So the module contain luminosity sensor, temperature, humidity sensor, acoustic sen sensor. We call this relationship composition. Here we have two things. We have a hollow diamond. It means that the central unit is related to a module, or the module is related to a central unit. But this relationship it is not fixed. So we can the, today, for example, we use this, the sensor as a part of the system in this connected home. But tomorrow we can move to another home and we can use reuse one of these sensors with another central unit. This is this central unit, as you remember, it receives the data from many modules. We put it in the house and we can put one module in one room, another module in another room. And this central unit, it is a Raspberry Pi, a small computer. We represented it in the previous videos. And the central unit in this system, in the local system, we have the central unit and we have many modules that are that are connected to the central unit but th this re relationship is not permanent so for this season we put a hollow diamond this relationship we call it aggregation it is aggregation another relationship represented is it is the multiplicity we we see some numbers here one and one two points star we see the one from s the side of central how we find the one i can discover this number and i know what does it mean it means that one module is related with one central unit so to save this number we save the number of the central unit that is related with one object from the other side it is the same thing for the other numbers one two point star that means one or more that means one central unit should be related to one or more modules because we can put one two three four modules pay attention to this point and repeat the video this part many times if you didn't understand it how can we put the numbers so if you look at the 
a green circle, the interpretation is there. We talk about the other side, one central unit is related to how much? To one or more module, more two points star. That means two, three, four, five, etc. Realization. That means we have two classes, but one of them are a real realization of the other. For example, we talk about a central unit, but we talked about Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, we said that it is a computer, a small computer. But we should pay attention. Even when we talk about Raspberry Pi here, we don't talk about an object. We talk about the class. We say that we will realize this central unit using a type of computer that we call Raspberry Pi. We don't talk about a specific Raspberry Pi. The, uh, this relationship, the realization, we use a hollow triangle with a dashed line to represent it. Dependency. Dependency. Using a dependency relationship in UML, one can relate how various things inside a particular system are dependent on each other. So it is to represent the relationship between the elements of the system. All other, or it is a weak relationship. It is not like the other. If we cannot represent something using the aggregation or composition or association, perhaps it is suitable to use the dependency. We will not talk in details because it is related more to programming. It is not related really to analysis or design.